The Home Ministry has made it compulsory for all NGOs receiving foreign funding to file their account details online, failing which they will face penal action. So foreign fund details has now been made mandatory and non-compliant NGOs will face penal action. Aditi Anand Narayanan now joins us with more. Yes, Aditi. Well, in fact, remember, Anand, just a couple of days ago when there was a review meeting of the Home Ministry, the Home Ministry had said that they have taken some stern action against almost 3,300 NGOs. Uh, the government of India has delisted all those NGOs, but now the government of India really changing the rules and saying that it is imperative for all the NGOs to go online, fill in their application, including details such as the bank details, and only then they will get the registration to be an authorized and legal NGO within the country of India. So what What really is happening is that the Home Ministry also tightening the new news against NGOs, especially after the incidents that happened against Greenpeace and other such NGOs, which were delisted by the Home Ministry. So now making it more difficult and ensuring there is enough transparency when the NGOs are also coming up for registration. The government of India now deciding that all the NGOs who are apply, which are applying online, not only have to put in their details, but also it is imperative for them, as per the transparency rules, to put in their bank details as well. Only then they will be termed as legally registered NGOs in the country.